I think one of the highlights um, so far is a recent one. Um, last week and over the weekend, we were invited to the G7. The theme was around the blue economy, uh, Canada being very interested uh, in the ocean's economy and um, also in conservation and environmental issues. We really capitalized on it. Um, on the way to Quebec, where the summit was being held, we um, stopped over in Toronto and had a session with business people who are based in Toronto. We took a few of our own uh, and engaged with business people and we had you know, some of the major um, Canadian businesses and investors, Barrick Gold, Eaton, um, quite a few across a range of sectors, mining particularly, but also financial services, pharmaceuticals, manufacturing. And so they just had an open engagement with the president about some of the pressing issues that they see and also just their renewed sense of optimism um, about South Africa. So uh, they ask questions you know, around policy certainty, around land reform, as you'd expect, uh, but they were also very positive about the potential of South Africa. Then at the G7 itself, we had bilateral meetings with a few of the G7 and other heads of state. So we engaged with uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta from Kenya, who was also invited, um, just about intra-African trade. And we're hoping to have an investment um, conference uh, focusing on East Africa in Nairobi later in the year. Uh, we spoke to uh, President Emmanuel uh, Macron from France. Uh, and he also made some commitments to support us with our investment drive. Uh, same with Prime Minister uh, Justin Trudeau. He uh, was very enthusiastic about South Africa, very knowledgeable about South Africa. Uh, you know, uh, quite a fan of Trevor Noah. Really? <laughs> he even yeah. mentioned that. He's he like, you can't have Trevor Noah back. Mm -hmm. um, so, he, you know, and he commended, you know, our except for the president, all-female uh, delegation uh, that met with him. And uh, we just talked about how Canada and South Africa could deepen its uh, trade and economic relations uh, because that's a very important market. I think often overshadowed by, say, the United States, but also a very rich OECD country, uh, which has actually a lot of lessons for us in terms of mining because they have been able to um, develop exploration um, and mineral resources and, and financing um, that comes so that they've, they've crafted innovative instruments. So it was quite a good exchange. Um, so, you know, we, we talked um, and we met also with uh, Vietnam, with Norway, and Angela Merkel, how can I forget that, <laughs> Chancellor Merkel. Um, she was also very enthusiastic about South Africa. But just highlighting that, you know, there are lots of German companies already in South Africa. They want to expand, but we have to have efficient investor relation and protection services um, that will ensure that. So I think that trip was quite a highlight. It, it kind of underlined that major economies are still enthusiastic um, about South Africa. We just need to get our act together and present a compelling investment case.